Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch and today I'm going to show you how to uh, make hair textures move for advanced expressions and stuff. So this particular character, I want to have uh, snow falling. Uh, so I made two sections of, um, of well there's three actually, of just hair out of this big mesh with snowflakes on it. And one of them is colored slightly yellow, which I'll change later. Um, and the other two are white. Um, and this is because I want them to move at different rates, so I'm going to have to have two different materials, right? Alright, anyways, uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I export this, and then I am put it into, uh, my Unity. Uh, and if you don't know how to do that, um, I have videos on my, uh, channel <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm half brain dead today, okay? That's, that's my excuse. Alright, so what we can do is we can go over to here, and it's really as simple as just, like, going down to the UV coordinates and just pushing a button, like, 1, or, you know, 0.05, and have a nice slow fall. Um, for this one, I don't really like the way how, like, it's kind of bowing with it. Like, if it's small enough, like, when I do really small ones, it's fine. Uh, but I wanted to change this to something else. So for right now, I'm going to keep this off. Um, and I want to make these invisible. And I know I already have an invisible layer on here for the eyelashes. So basically, I'm going to turn these into my eyelashes. So over my hierarchy, I'm going to select the hair. And I know the last three I have here are the snow. So I'm going to just drag and drop this over here. And it's going to turn them into the eyelash material, which is invisible. Which is exactly what I want for those. Because we're not going to use those, but I do need to have the materials already in here. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over on the hierarchy and input a 3D object of a plane. Just like this. And I'm going to rotate it up. Like that. I want to try to get it as straight as possible. Yeah, that's fine. It's, it, you know, it's fine. I'm going to just come over here if I really want to just go 90. <clears throat> And then I'm going to scale it down a little bit. Uh, let's pull it in as well. Like, we definitely don't need it that far away, and we don't. So, this is just going to be some slight adjustments of, to where I want this. Yeah, that looks good. And then I can just kind of like drag and drop my. Uh, the snow texture on the back, and then I'm gonna do another one. Right click a uh, duplicate and move it forward. And for this one, I'm gonna do the other, the other snow. And I just drag and drop, but you can come drop it in over here. Like right here, you can just kind of grab it, just drop it in. Um, so that way I can have more depth to this, and I can add more if I want, but uh, I can only do it for however many ones of these I have unless I work up looking at like different speeds. Um, so the ones up close I kind of want a little bit bigger. I, like I'm going to shrink all this down a little bit. A little bit bigger and I, the one in the back I want much smaller like that. So I might actually make two of these. I'll put one there and I'll duplicate this and put the other kind of Kind of slightly offset a little bit. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, now over here in the materials, and I'm going to keep the color like this for now until I um, get my speeds down and stuff. So I'm going to do like 05. Yeah, it's a nice fall in the back. Let's do the other one. Uh, oh, how about just one? It's a faster fall. Maybe maybe I want that one a little slower than the, the one in the back. Uh, zero one. Mm. Zero five seems like a good one. Maybe I'll slow it down the back. But so you can go in this direction. I can also go a little bit in the side direction, so it's kind of slowly going off to the side. Yeah, and now we've just made, you know, moving textures. Uh, but we put them over here, so we need to get them on the body. Um, and you can attach them to the head if you want, but I'm gonna attach these... I'm gonna attach them to the hip. So, I'm just gonna kind of grab all these and throw this on the hip. There we go. 
so that way if the head moves, the rest of the snowflake does not. All right, uh, and another thing I'm gonna do is, at this point, I'm gonna take all of these alphas down to zero. Zoop. All right, now I'm gonna go over to blend shapes and I'm just gonna adjust the blend shapes real quick. All right, and for this, I'm gonna add a uh, new blend clip and just call it snow. Click on it and then I'm gonna go to the materials list. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to, I think it was hair six. I'm going to change the alpha and the color. At least this is the back one, so we're going to add that little bit of blue back in. And then we're going to do it again, but for hair five, which was the front snowflakes. And I'm just going to change this to a complete white. Yeah. And now he can trigger the snow on and off as he sees fit. Um, and we can export this. Alright. Ah, and it worked! Mmm. I have my tracking on for something else, but, uh, this is fine. If I go over here, let me see. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, that works. Great. Rawr. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's how you add motion uh, thingies to your avatars. It's like how I did with, um, I guess like this one's fine. You see how I, like how I did it with this one, with the hearts? It's the same, same method, same method. Uh, I just didn't add the planes to this one because I already had the shape I wanted. Ah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if this video has helped you out, um, please give it a like, uh, share it, and uh, if you like my content, please subscribe because subscribers help me out. Yeah! Uh, and, uh, questions, questions, comments, likes, whatever. And you know the YouTube shit. You got it. I believe in you. Alright. Bye.